First, you want to go to your Shopify admin. On the left side, you'll see a column of menus and you want to go to the very bottom and click settings. Here you will see another list of menus and you want to locate markets. Click markets. So here you'll see a list of all your active and inactive markets. We want to add a new market, so click add market. So today I want to add New Zealand to an individual market, so I am going to locate New Zealand first. You also need to name your market, and since I'm adding a single country, I'm simply going to name it New Zealand. Now check the checkbox next to the country you want to add, and then click Add Market. It will take you to the individual page of the market you just created. So you can see all of the market settings now, but the only one that concerns us today is products and pricing. So click that. So the country's local currency is going to be displayed here. If you're creating a single country, this will automatically be always set to the local currency if the currency is available, and we are going to leave it at that. If you want to change it, there's a drop down menu so you can set it manually to whichever currency you would like the customer to see displayed. Also adjust the settings for the exchange rate by clicking manage exchange rate. So here you will see two options, dynamic and manual. I have mine set on dynamic which automatically adjusts the exchange rates at the time of the purchase, but you can also set it to manual, in which case just click on manual and make your adjustments in the box below and then click save. I am going to put mine back to dynamic and just get out of this screen. Okay, now it's time to do what we actually came here to do, which is adjust pricing. So next to the currency and the exchange rate, there is a window for price adjustment. So there is a drop down box with two options, price increase and price decrease. Because I set out to decrease the price for New Zealand, I want to select price decrease. As you can see, mine is currently set to 0%, so that is the original price. I'm going to click save so you can just see the prices as they are now. As you can see, the knitting pattern for a sweater currently costs 16 New Zealand dollars. So once you have settled on the percentage for your pricing that you want to decrease or increase, if that's what you're doing, head over to this box next to the price adjustment and enter the number. So I already know that I'm going to decrease the prices for New Zealand by 25%, so I'm going to enter 25 here. And then click save to apply the changes you have just made. And you should be able to see the changes now reflected in the new pricing. So we're just going to leave New Zealand at a 25% decrease if we're happy with that and head back to the previous page. So we're back here on this page with all the market settings for New Zealand. And what you need to do is make sure that the market is active. You want the customers in the market to be able to check out. And that's it. That's all there is to it. As you can see, it is pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. If you found it helpful, consider clicking that like, share it with someone who may also benefit from this knowledge and subscribe to this channel for future content.